I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Lady Jane Grey. I take three fingers at the top towards the right and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line down in and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line out in and connect. I come right here to the top right where we started on the dot and I draw a slightly curved line and then I'm going to starting on the left draw a wavy wavy line down on the left come back to the dot wavy wavy line down on the right I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a big curve line up, over, down, and connect. And come back over here on the left and draw one baby circle. And then come on the right hand side, draw another baby circle. Come all the way back up to the top and I'm going to draw little baby circles all the way up and over on this middle line keep going all the way down and over okay then I'm gonna come back inside and I'm gonna draw a wavy wavy line down on the left connect come back up wavy wavy line down connect on the right I come inside and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right. Come down below, curve line up, down, connect on the left, curve line down, up, connect on the right. Come back to the left, add a little skinny mimic line on the left, little skinny mimic line on the right. Come back to the left and draw a curved line inside. And I'm going to color that in right now so I don't forget. And then a curved line inside on the right. And color that in right now so I also don't forget. Okay? Alright. In the center, I draw a slightly curved line down, curved line, curved line. Come down to the middle. I should say in the center and draw a slightly curved line, come up, curve line, curve line, connect, come back to the left, curve line, connect. Starting right up here on the left, I draw a straight line down, curve line over, and right here on the right, slightly curved line down and connect. I come back to the top. No, let's do this part first. Come back down to the left, right here, and draw a slightly curved line down on the left and a slightly curved line down off the page on the right. Now, come back up here and we're going to draw a big curved line down. Keep going. Connect. Okay? All right. Now I come back to this line here in the center and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And I'm going to go underneath. Curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. In one more row of curve lines. All the way across. Okay? Starting on the left, I draw slightly curve line over, curve line across, slightly curve line up, connect. Now I'm going to mimic that line again. Slightly curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. On this line I just go, space, I'm sorry, I just go curve line, curve line, 
and on this side on the left I just draw flat oval flat oval flat oval okay now starting on the left I draw little baby circles and I connect with the space going down this line keep going everybody's going to end up with a different amount because we all draw differently but I have little baby circles connecting that space with the other now I come inside and I'm just going to draw some flat flat ovals and then I draw curve line curve line connect on the bottom curve line curve line connect on top flat oval curve line curve line connect curve line connect now these are very embroidered decorated robes that she's got on she was royalty so there's going to be a lot of jewels and silks and satins and things like that okay I think that might be it I think I think I think so let's see how we're going to color her in okay from looking at her portrait, it looks like she was a young woman, not very old. So I'm going to take my pink. I'm just going to add some pink down around. We're going to double color her. Do her lips, a little bit of pink. Her chin, her cheeks, just a little bit because we're going to double color. Then I come down and I do pink on this necklace, which looks like pearls she's got going on and like I said she's royalty she's a queen so it's got to be pretty sumptuous then I am going to take my yellow and I'm going to add some yellow this is hair I'm going to add some yellow straight lines I'm going to add some curved lines this is hair up here and this is hair the rest of that is going to be her crown. Now I've decided that yellow orange is a good color for gold stand in because yellow always seems a little too light. So this is her crown. So I'm going to do all of these little baby circles yellow orange. And then for the actual gold part of her crown I'm going to use a lighter brown okay if you have gold or jewels or you know markers that have color metallics then go for it but if you don't I've decided yellow orange works very well okay now going over the pink I've got an apricot if you don't have apricot you can just leave the pink she's kinda pale leave her white and just go over and this section down here the this is skin in between all these jewels this is skin so you might want to do that also then I'm taking my brown and I'm going to color in my hair. This is hair. This is hair. And this is hair. This big swash. Swatch. This is also hair. So this all needs to be colored in. She's a real pretty lady. This should all be brown with a little bit of the yellow highlights. Okay? This should all be brown. Now, down here for her dress, I get I did rubies so this is red and then I used my orange again to go around and most of this looks like it's gold or some kind of metallic so I did this orange and then I came back in and I did my yellow all the way around all this embroidery just to make it a little bit different colors I did purple over here on the right and 
This I think is supposed to be ermine, so fur. So I did black and purple right here. Okay? Then I came back in with my red and I gave her some red lips. Okay? She was pretty. And then down at the bottom, I think I did this section kind of a brown gold down here. If you have room, some of you might not have even drawn that section. Okay, let's see what she looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Lady Jane Grey all colored in. She's important because she was only queen for nine days. She was held in the Tower of London and was executed. It was tough being a monarch in England. Okay, bye-bye.